Hey guys, Mr. Backover here. In this video, we're going to look at constant functions. So as we're looking at finding the integral of a constant function, if we've got f of x equals some number c, where c is just a constant value on the interval from a to b, then as we're finding its integral, as we're doing this integral of this constant function from a to b, all we need to do is take that c value number times the difference between your upper limit b and your lower limit a. And we'll talk about why that's the case as we take a look at our example. So we've got a ship sailing at a steady rate of 7.5 nautical miles per hour, or knots, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And we want to express its total distance traveled as an integral and then evaluate that integral. So we know that our ship is sailing at a constant rate of seven and a half knots. So if we think about a function to represent this, this is a constant function. The speed isn't changing. So we can say that our f of x function is just 7.5. Now, if we want to use an integral to figure out the total distance traveled, then I'm going to draw in my integral symbol. We're starting tracking this at 7 a.m. So for the lower limit, I'm going to put 7. We're ending our tracking at 9 a.m., so for the upper limit, I'm going to put 9. We've got this 7.5 function that we're dealing with, and we always attach that dx on the end. Now, what we said we can do when we're integrating a constant function is take whatever that constant value is and multiply that by the difference of the upper value minus the lower value. Well, if I take 9 minus 7, that's just 2. And then if I take 7.5 and multiply that by 2, I'm going to get 15. So this ship has traveled 15 nautical miles. Now let's look at this in a little bit of a different way. If we look at this graphically, so across the bottom here, that's going to be our time. And the vertical height in here is our speed. So we know that we've got a constant speed of 7.5. So I'm just going to say that this y value right here represents 7.5. And, and our speed is never changing, so it's always that flat rate of 7.5 nautical miles per hour. Now we're starting to track this at 7 a.m. So I'm going to say that this x value right here is 7 a.m. And we're ending our tracking at 9 a.m. So I'm going to say that's the x value right here. The integral is the area between our curve and the x-axis. Well, if we section this off, we've essentially just created a rectangle. The height of that rectangle is our y value, which is the speed of 7.5. And, and the width of the rectangle is the distance between those two x values. Well, that's kind of what we did over here when we subtract them. We found the distance between them. So if we find the distance between 7 and 9, well, that's a distance of 2. Now, taking this 2 times this 7.5, that gives us 15. So the area underneath this curve directly relates to this integral that we did before. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.